Germany is stepping up munition production. Bundeswehr Inspector General Kasten Breuer said earlier the management of the largest German defense company said that Berlin had ordered them to produce 150,000 artillery shells for Ukraine. And in December 2023, according to the Eurasian Times newspaper, the same German concern signed a contract with the NATO country to produce artillery shells for Ukraine worth more than $153 million until year 2025. No, this war won't be over anytime soon. We would all wish that it were. And this is why we have to be able to keep up the pressure. We have to help and be able to help Ukraine on the basis of solidarity. We support Ukraine in its defense struggle with financial resources and weapons. South Korea's indirect deliveries of 155mm artillery shells for Ukraine in 2023 have surpassed all EU countries combined, the Washington Post has claimed. The exact amount of ammunition was not specified. The shells began to flow at the beginning of the year, eventually making South Korea a larger supplier of artillery ammunition for Ukraine than all European nations combined. South Korean law prohibits providing weapons to war zones, but US officials sought to persuade Seoul to provide munitions, estimating that about 330,000 155mm shells also unclear is whether Korea supplied weapons to help the U.S. refill its stockpiles, depleted after the U.S. supply of munitions to Ukraine, or whether South Korea's munitions were delivered directly for battle operations in Ukraine, from a publication in the Washington Post. Finland intends to double the production of ammunition to help Ukraine. This was announced by the country's defense ministry. We are talking about 120 million euro investment in the defense industry. The decision will significantly increase Finland's heavy ammunition production capacity, which will provide long-term support to Ukraine until the 2030. The increase in production is significant on a European scale and will also strengthen Finland's own defense capability. Antti Hakanen, Minister of Defense of Finland, in a statement on the website of the Finnish Ministry of Defense. According to Reuters, European Union states have ordered 60,000 artillery shells for Ukraine by spring 2024. Demand for ammunition, particularly of 155mm caliber, has surged after the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. According to the agency, the alliance have already sent Ukraine more than 2 million rounds of ammunition. On December 7, 2023, Ukrainian Minister of Strategic Industries Alexander Kamushin said that Kiev had signed agreements with two leading U.S. companies on joint production of 155 caliber artillery shells, reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Kristina Dombrovska, UATV News.